Good morning, guys. We are uh, taking a little bit of a different adventure today. No Disney, no nothing. It's more of a little bit of a nature trail. We're actually in uh, Florida's Silver Springs. Um, it's a state park. It's located in Ocala. Let's, uh, let's have a little walk around. It's been a long time since I've been in a state park. So, this is actually the entrance for the park, I think. Little kiosk where. Uh, Do not approach or feed the monkeys. Is it kind of if we brought one? So, they have uh, boat tours. You can do, I think they have a half hour tour and an hour tour that you can do and it takes you all through the waterway. It's actually a really big state park. Oh look, the day's in. Okay, so small little thing. I don't know if, if you guys can see the day's in from here. Let me just zoom in on it. All right, so fun story. If you ever come to Ocala and you plan on coming to Silver Springs, do not stay at the Days Inn. <clears throat> the walls will crawl. <laughs> yes. We uh, we checked in last night and we got the hotel thinking, all right, cool, it's right across the street from the park. It'll be great. We can just walk to the park and all that stuff. <clears throat> we went to go put our phones to charge and cockroaches started to come out of the uh everywhere <laughs> out of everywhere <laughs> but they came out of the alarm clock came out of the phone came out from the nightstand they were probably reading the bible because that's where the drawer was <laughs> it was uh it was pretty bad not uh not gonna lie on that it was really really bad so the worst part about it is we went up to the front desk like hey there's roaches we don't want to stay here and the guy nonchalant was just like okay i'll give you your money back so either way silver springs we're actually just in the front of uh of the park um like i said so here's where the boats are for the tour these are all like shops and little restaurants that we came from that end over there. And then uh, we're heading this way. So it is a national park. They always advise to make sure you bring some water, good shoes, hiking. People do, I don't know if you camp here, but I know they do have cabins. A lot of nice picnic areas and stuff that we've seen so far. I want to see if we hit one of the trails. I have a map. All right, so here is the map. This is actually just one part of the park. All right, so main entrance here, parking, and then uh, the boats are here. So we're probably right around here, um, but it looks really large, right? Well, that little section is just right here. So, they have a bunch of little tiny trails, horse trails, here's the waterway uh, that the boat goes through. I wonder if uh, we'll see some manatees, or you think maybe it's too too late in, uh, in the year. Look at the fish hopping over there. You can do canoe tours or kayak tours? Yeah, go there. Fish are hopping. I'm not sure if that's a tour or just a bunch of people that got together with uh, little kayaks, but uh, obviously you can do some some water sports here aside from the uh, glass bottom boats. Looks like they got one of the boats and uh, they made a little uh, concession stand out of it. Also, the concession stand looks like it's uh, 
not working. A little creepy. Squirrel! I wonder if this used to be like the old loading area for the boats. It looks like it might have been a loading area for a boat tour would come and pick you up here. Mm-hmm. But it's a little closed off. Also, I find it really funny how they um, have a alligator no swimming sign. Yet, like right on the other side of those bushes, there's like paddle boarders and kayaks and yeah. <laughs> so apparently... I think in this location over here, you can't see um, really well, but there's like pipes and stuff underneath the uh, the water line. They filmed a movie apparently called Sea Hunt. So I guess filming took place from 1958 to 1961 and uh, filmed on location in Florida's Silver Springs. That's pretty cool. And there you go. Sea Hunt. Oh! TV series. TV series from 1958 to 1961. So talking about gators, there's a gator tail right there. Little guy. And paddle boarders. So, if you are going to do water activities in Silver Springs, just be very, very mindful of the gators and other wildlife. Supposedly, there's monkeys and stuff. berries on it. It's starting the berries right here. And this is called a sparkle berry. But once it starts getting ripe, your deer, your bears, your bigger animals are going to come down and eat them. Some of the really neat thing about this area that I've seen in the 20 years that I've been here is that there is a female alligator that lives in this area. And I have seen where she has had babies, and the babies be out here with her. So, um, we don't allow swimming in the river here, um, generally at this point right here. We don't say too much about it. Uh, it's one of the things. We do own both sides of the river. We do own the land underneath the river. We don't own the water. But um, the Swimming, especially up there in the head springs, not allowed because of the boat traffic and the danger of that up there. But down here, if you no. here. so like I said, at this point, you, you know, the gentleman asked me about the monkeys. We do it's have like directly on the other side of the palm tree. Fifty monkeys on this river. You might be able to see it from. Definitely yeah, he's just coming waiting for it to come. Uh-huh. And unfortunately, that will be his demise. Yeah. That's a shame. Like I say, unfortunately, that will be his demise. He actually was over there, and when we parked here, he come straight over here. Yep. Uh-huh. Somebody, they've been feeding that one.
so I think this is a representation of, I guess, the caves underneath the uh, springs. Because that's where the boats are, wrap around. This is the trail that we took, the statue, and then keep going, and then the little bridge we went over. And then I'm assuming all this is underneath of where we were. Because we took a glass up bottom boat and I didn't see inside this way. So, decorated Christmas tree. We'll make, because that looks like the boat that we saw. An old dugout canoe, and the reason why they call them dugout canoes is because they'll drop a tree and they'll literally just dig out the center of the boat. And what the lady was talking about um, during the tram trolley ride was they used to have a jungle cruise and uh, they would you would see all the animals and life giraffes and stuff like that so kind of like Walt Disney's original vision for the jungle cruise with live animals but uh, that one didn't come to uh, reality because you can't train live animals to come up so they ended up with animatronics but that's a real life uh, theme park, Jungle Cruise, and uh, they did say that this used to be an attraction before it was a state park. A bunch of different species that you can find. Some relics. And they used to have steamboats through here in the 1800s and uh, I guess this is a representation of that you can see the old steamboats paddle boat boats and then this is a model of the glass boat that uh, we were on now, they told us during the tram ride that this is actually the second generation glass boat. And it was built in 1962, 1960s. Um, so imagine before that they had older glass bottom boats that uh, they would go with. And I wonder if these are the style of them because they don't seem that long but you know it's a it's a model probably not meant to be to scale but uh, pretty interesting little park they uh, they filmed a lot of uh, different movies TV shows um, I think monster from the black lagoon uh, a couple bond films uh, I think Moonraker, Never, Never Say Never Again, um, the Sea Hunt TV series, um, pretty active thing. I Spy. So this is what they consider a gazebo? Yeah, you cannot fish here though. Mm -hmm. Second species. No, f no fishing and no swimming. All the way on the floor. That's a snapping turtle. Oh, it's cute. Oh, yeah, put your finger in front of his mouth. No, why See if you still have there it. There it is. Um, because because I don't want to spend sixty days in jail and pay a five hundred dollar fee. That's not a gopher turtle. Yeah, that's a snapping turtle. I don't care. Remember, gopher turtles aren't meant for water. They die. They will die. Hi. All right, guys. So that is our little uh, day adventure over at uh, Silver Springs. Uh, nice little park. Definitely recommend uh, getting here early. It does get hot. 
um, but you can do a half hour um, boat tour for 11 bucks. The fee per person, the fee per person is two dollars to enter. There is wildlife present, as you can tell. Back here, there's there's wildlife present. Very nice, very informative. Teaches you a lot about the wildlife and how they try to preserve it. Um, definitely recommend it, guys. I mean, it's it's nice. Just be careful not to stay at the Days Inn with the cockroaches. <laughs> we are scarred for life with that. Um, anyways, until next time. Guys, I'll see you guys in the future.